Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be installing Fleece Performance's new All Lights On module for the 2007 and a half and up vehicles. Fleece Performance's first All Lights On module was wildly popular for the 2003 to 2007 uh, GM vehicles. They have doubled down. They have come out with a new All Lights On uh, module, I'm gonna call it. This is for the 2007 and a half and up GM vehicles, and this thing covers a ton of different platforms. All the pickup trucks are covered. Uh, GMC and Chevrolet both, seven and a half to 19 currently. 1500 to 3500. Uh, it also covers some Saturn platforms, uh, most of the SUVs, so on. We will have a complete list of platforms that this works on our on our website. Um, so let's talk just a little bit about this product. So what we're going to do here, and I've got Chris in the cab, just kind of show you the function on this. Now we're going to speak in terms of the 2007 and a half to 2013 uh, pickup trucks. Um, and how the lights work on these. So with your low beams, Chris, go ahead and, and turn the low beams on. Low beams on this truck, we, all, we have the uh, top light is on. Now we'll go ahead and go to high beams. With the high beams, you have both the low beam and the high beam on at the same time. Okay, Chris, turn the high beams off. This truck is equipped with fog lights. So this is where the beauty of the all lights module comes into play. Chris, go ahead and turn the fog lights on. Fog lights on these GM vehicles only work with the low beams. When you switch to high beams, switch it over to high beams, Chris. When you switch it to high beams, fog lights automatically go off. This is where this comes into play. This is gonna be wired into this truck and now when we have this fleece all lights on module, you will have when you turn your high beams on, you will have low beam, high beam, and the fog lights are gonna come on too. Wildly popular thing, again, for the earlier trucks, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install this today. Now, um, I wanna show you on this before we get started on the installation. This is going to be different than the first All Lights On module that everybody's used to. This does not go out in the uh, power module out underneath of the hood. This is a uh, smaller little module that is actually going to hook in at the body control module. And I'll step away just a little bit from this. This is gonna hook in at the body control module and it's going to call out your fog light wire and your high beam wire. And we are going to make a splice with this little module. The Fleece Performance has labeled it which side the fog light wire goes in and which side the high beam light wire goes in. We will have instructions for every different model vehicle that this is gonna work for, the platforms. So this video that we're doing today, this is on a 2012 GMC Sierra 1500, and this will work, This the instructions we're gonna give you today is gonna to work for the seven and a halfs all the way to the 13. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our installation of this all lights on module. First thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect the battery cables because we are making a wire splice here. So we don't want uh, anything to go wrong there. Disconnect the battery cables first. For the seven and a half to 13 vehicles, what we're gonna be looking to access here is we're gonna be accessing the body control module. The body control module on these vehicles, uh, talking about the pickup trucks, uh, SUVs, is going to be directly above the uh, brake pedal down here. Have several different connectors going into it. What we're gonna be looking for on this specific application is we're gonna be looking for the middle connector or the black connector um, for to access the wires that we're looking for, for the high beams and the fog lights. So Adam's gonna kinda jockey around and then hand me the camera and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you there is a piece of duct work here you can see this duct work you can see the duct work right here let me try that again you can see this piece of duct work right here this is just slid um, onto this end here and then to detach it there is a push pin on this end right directly below the body control module. What you do with this is you can actually just pull this 
towards you or pull it towards the body control module and then work it down. And the push pin allows this to move out of your way for easier access to the connectors of the body control module. All right, so we've got to get the black connector, which is right here on the body con control module disconnected. So what, we, what we're gonna do here is the, the latch is on the bottom side of it or closest to the firewall. So I'm trying to do this on, on my head. So just push the latch and then it'll come down and then you can see, let me get some a little bit better, better light on it. This is the black, uh, the black connector from the body control module. On our body control module uh, harness connector here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking for the pin number 11 and I think it's pin 16 here for the two wires. So what we wanna do is we want to bring some of the uh, electrical tape around the connector, just get it off. So we're looking for pin 11 is the fog light control. Um, and that is going to be a green wire with a white stripe. So it is gonna be over eight and up to so it's gonna be this green wire right here. So I wanna kinda of pull it out. And then pin 16 is going to be our high beam control tan wire with a white stripe. Now, again, different platforms are gonna be different pin outs. So you need to understand that and make sure that you are working in your specific platform wiring that you're needing here. So just be careful with what you do here. Grab the right wires, you don't wanna make a uh, mistake in that and then have the two two wires grounded together could blow some fuses or whatnot. So what I like to do here is I like to pull out plenty of wire. I don't wanna work right directly at the end of the connector. I wanna leave myself uh, a little bit of room here. Reason being for that, if we make a mistake, we've got, uh, we've got enough room inside the connector uh, to make a different cut here. So what we're gonna do is grab our all lights on module Okay, and we can actually use it kind of as a little bit of a placeholder for the wire. So again, we said the green wire is going to be our, um, the green wire is going to be our fog lamps. And then the brown wire is going to be our high beam control. Need to get a little bit more wire out there. All right, so we're going to put our module behind the wires there with our the correct orientation of them. And there are little ribs or channels cut in the board here from fleece. So you can use that to hold the wires you're attempting to work on. And I'll roll that right over there. All right. So I wanna show you once I get the wires laid up here, I want them in these valleys that they're gonna be going into because you'll see that that's gonna push in, okay? So I've got my high beam side on the right side, the, the fog lamp side on the right side there. I hope the camera's getting that. Cool. So we've got the clip from fleece that is going to push these in and make this connection here for us. So I'm gonna push that up just a little bit, get it just a little farther away from the connector. We're okay. Line my clip up to saddle the wires and then just push it in until it clips. Just like so. What you're doing there is you're making that connection of the wires down into the saddle. It's got to pierce there to make a correct connection. And that looks good to me. Looks like it's gotten through. We're good to go there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll bring my tape around here from the that came from the factory, kind of move it over here, get it out of my way, and then I'll move that out of my way. So 
Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move it back and reconnect it back to the body control module. All right, we've already got our plug back in our body control module. Now just have to do our vent here. Just slide back straight on where it came from. Just push back towards you and then reconnect and you're good to go. So that's got everything tucked up, out of the way, reconnected. Let's try her out. All righty, moment of truth, show you how uh, what this looks like with the all lights on um, feature enabled. So go ahead, Dylan, and, and turn the truck on. All right, this is low beams, flip on high beams. There you go. All lights on, low beams, high beams, uh, and your floodlights are on as well with this off. Dylan, uh, take it back to low beams and then uh, hit the fog lights. So our fog lights still work independently of the switch. They work on low beams, so we can turn our fog lights on with low beams, no problem. Click it over to high, high beams, Dylan. So as you go back to high beams, you will have all the lights on. Cool little thing, something that's cheap, it's easy, it's a really nice uh, upgrade for these trucks. Uh, so definitely check it out. It's something that's been really, really popular for us, the all lights on feature from Fleece Performance. So if you have a question about this product or any other Fleece products, please give us a call and like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.